Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video we will see how to implement an advanced level of authentication using Spring Security in Spring Boot. So if you have not watched our previous video then please watch it because in last video we have seen the basic level of authentication means we secured our REST services using static username password. In this video, we will secure our REST services with the help of database using actual username password. So it's a 100% secure way and this all will be possible because of one service class provided by Spring Security. Let's implement before the start. Anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Yes, you can see it is asking for username password. It is happening because we added in memory authentication logic in the last video. See it's working fine. Let's create one more model called Roll. Along with that let's create one to many and many to one relationship in between user and role. So one role can assign to multiple users. Let's run and see the table is creating or not for the model called Droll. As you can see table created. Let's add some data in role table like for this time two types of the role such as user and admin. You can add any number of roles. The same way we need to assign role in for the user also. Let's comment configure global method and override again configure method. This time instead of in-memory authentication we will authenticate using user details service.
So for that, we need to create one more class called my user details service. Mark this class as a service. As you see still error is there in the configuration class. To remove this let's implement the user details service interface in my user details service class, which we created. Let's override required methods. See now error gone, as you can see a override method will return user details object. Let's create a simple flow to find user object from the username. We will declare the simple method in user repository interface and annotate this method as query. and write the simple HQL query. It's very simple. If the user is not available then we will throw username not found the exception. And we will return spring security user object. And for authority, we will create a separate method and add required authorities. Authorities are nothing but the role-based authentication. It's done. Let's see it's working or not. Now it must be authenticated user from database password. It's happening because of cache. Let's restart the browser.
See it's asking for username password. See it's working. Let's try to enter the wrong password. See it is not allowing to log in and return back to login pop up. Let's open REST client and test this functionality. See if you don't enter any username password it's giving error message. Here you can set basic authentication let's set and see after that it works or not. See it's working fine. Let's set some wrong authentication and see it's giving any error message or not. As you can see this message we set for entry point class. Let's add some role-based access for some of the services, like the list can open everyone, but add update delete only done by admin. Let's change username so it's easy to identify what and all admin can access and what another user can access. Let's see role based access and restrict is working or not. See it's working, the list is coming. Let's log in as a normal user and the normal user does not have authority to delete and add. Let's see it's working or not. Oops deleted successfully, I think we missed something. Let's add again directly to database. So for restrict we need to enable one annotation then only it will work. Annotation name called enable global method security and pass pre post enable true. Let's see it will work or not. See this time it's not giving the delete success message it's saying no mapping available because we added inside error controller so that will take care. See not allowing to delete the reason is login person role is user and delete authority only admin have.
You can customize this as per your requirement. Let's review whatever we added. Best way to explore what is happening when I am calling any built-in method then go to their documentation. User Details Service Core Interface which loads user specific data it is used throughout the framework as a user DAO and is the strategy used by the DAO authentication provider. This interface requires only one read-only method which simplifies support for new data access strategy. User Models Core User Information Retrieved by User Details Service Developers may use this class directly, subclass it and write their own implementation. Equals and hash high code implementation based on the property username only, as the intention is that lookups of the same user principal object will match where the object represents the same user not just when all the properties. Note that this implementation is not immutable. It implements the credentials container interface in order to allow the password to be erased after authentication. This may cause side effects if you are storing instances in memory and reusing them. If so make sure you can return a copy from your user details service each time it is invoked. So with the help of pre-authorizing, you can secure your services based on role. Let's commit code to GitHub, whatever we added. See it's done. Changes are available. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.